everyone, welcome to Cooking with Mrs. Carlson. Today we're going to do some pancakes, breakfast. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. Yes, pancakes. We're going to do some breakfast recipes with you. We've done waffles before. I thought we'd show you our recipe for pancakes waffles, too. Was waffles was the very first episode. It was. Now pancakes. So before we get started on our pancakes, I'm just going to show you an easy way to cook up some bacon while your pancakes are cooking. So I'm just going to take a pound of bacon. So this is 12 ounces of bacon. Um, I put a cooling rack into a baking pan. You could also line that baking pan with tin foil if you want to make it a little bit easier to clean up. You certainly don't have to, but it, it is an option. All we're going to do is take our bacon and put the slices of bacon on our cooling rack. Just lay them out on the cooling rack. Okay. Then once you've done that, bacon stuck here. You're going to put your bacon into an oven. I have mine set at 400 degrees. You could do 400, 425. Um, really, it's not going to matter too much. But I cook that for about 15 minutes, and then you can tell if it's crispy enough for you. If you like it a little bit uh, less crispy, you'll just kind of have to watch the time that it takes in there. Okay, so that's all you do to put your bacon in the oven. Okay, so after you have your bacon on your pan, just like this, we're going to put it into the oven and set our timer for about 15 minutes. Okay, now to get on with our pancakes. Um, this recipe is pretty simple. You don't need a ton of ingredients for this. You just need uh, one and a third cup of flour, one and a quarter cup of milk, two tablespoons of sugar, a tablespoon of baking powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, and one egg. That's all it takes to make uh, a pretty simple pancake recipe. Okay, I call the egg. Oh, you wanna work on the egg? Yeah. All right, well, why don't you work on the egg right now? I'll get our measuring cups out. Okay, so Rachel's, she's gonna put the egg in right now. There's only one egg. One egg. adjust it a little bit depending on how brown your pancakes get um, in the yeah, amount of time you're working with. If it's brown, you need to perfect it. Yeah, if it gets too brown, then you'll have to turn the heat down a little bit. Okay, so we've got our pan cooking here. Some things that the kids like to add to their pancakes are, of course, chocolate chips. Yes. So that. Rachel likes to add chocolate chips to hers. Yeah, about my payment. Your payment? Yes, the payment chocolate chips. Oh, oh okay. Um, you're just going to pour some pancake batter, depending on what size you want, into your pan. 
and then you take some chocolate chips or blueberries, um, if you want he them plain, just eat them plain. He likes blueberries. Yeah, so like blueberry pancakes. We're just going to sprinkle some chocolate chips on Rachel's. Mm. You, you will need a spatula. You'll start to see bubbles forming in your, um, in your pancake. When the, the top of the pancake has bubbled up, then you're going to flip it over. It will take a couple of minutes, especially for the first one that you make, for the pan to get completely warm. I'll, we'll come back here when our pancake has bubbles all over the top. Okay, so when your pan is warm, we're going to pour some pancake batter in it. And then if you want to add chocolate chips or blueberries or what else would you add to pancake? Strawberries. Maybe some strawberries. Blackberries. Whatever your preferred topping is, or keep them plain. You're going to put this in your pan and let the uh, the bottom part cook first. You'll know that it's cooked when you start to see bubbles all throughout the top of your pancake. Uh, when your pancake has bubbled up all around, you can always check it by by using your spatula under to see if the the bottom is actually browned. When it's to the consistency that you want it, you're going to flip it over. Now you have to be really careful with the temperature when you're cooking these. The first one always takes the longest because the pan's still kind of trying to catch up. Um, but after that, they take about 30 seconds per side. So it doesn't take too long to cook. Um, we have one over here, one pancake done. Um, you start, if you can see that or not, there are some bubbles starting to form in our pancake. When you have quite a few bubbles, you'll flip it over. Probably could have gone a little bit longer on this one, but we can flip it back over. And then cook it for about another 30 seconds on the other side. And then that's all there is to making pancakes. Okay, so after 15 minutes, I'm going to pull our bacon out. I just wanted to show you, uh, we're done with the last of our pancakes. Those are all cooked oh, up too. I we're going to pull our bacon out of the oven. Ooh, this looks good enough for me. I suppose if you want it crispier, you could bake it longer than that. Not the fat. Well, the, the fat renders out. There's a bunch oh. of grease now in the bottom of that, so you'll want to make sure that that cools, and then you dump that in the garbage. It's Don't put thick. that down your, your sink. Um, but this is a healthier way to eat bacon because you're not frying it right in its own grease. The grease is draining underneath of your cooling rack. Okay, so we've got pancakes and bacon. Thanks for joining us.